Gossip Girl creator Joshua Safran responds to Olivia Jade after college admission scandal joke. Olivia Jade, 21, is a popular social media influencer. She has been the hot gossip topic for several years, however, not for the best reason. Although Jade quickly became a YouTube beauty and lifestyle blogger, her success ran into obstacles when she became the main topic of the college admission scandal in 2019. Olivia's mother, Lori Lowland, Full House star, was jailed for bribing her two daughters to admit to the University of Southern California. This caused controversy in Jade's young career, and it was not only made public because of a mistake in 2017 involving herself in a car accident while video blogging. After all this, the 21-year-old has lost her brand partners, including a big deal with Sephora, and was bullied on her social media accounts. Recently, she became the subject of a short joke about HBO's relaunch of the notoriously sleazy teen drama Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl Joke The restart of HBO Gossip Girl dominated this weekend, sparking a sincere dialogue between critics and views. The restart is an iconic legacy that needs to be protected as the original series ran for six seasons in the late 2000s. On July 8, at the reboot premiere of Gossip Girl, two characters commented on Jade's college admission scandal. Before the rumors went further into the history of pop culture, Jade went to her TikTok channel to clarify things. In the series, Luna La tells Queen Bee Julian Calloway, everything will be fine as long as you win. Olivia Jade gained followers when her mom went to jail. Be that as it may, Jade sorts things out in her TikTok video as she's seen shaking her head at the scene. Jade says, no, I didn't. Gossip Girl creator responds. Joshua Safran, the creator of Gossip Girl, has recently responded on Twitter since being called out by Jade. Joshua wrote, Okay, my bad. Check out Olivia Jade's video. Further, he also attached the link of Jade's video to his tweet. Although Jade's friendly demeanor implied in her TikTok video that she had reached the point where she could laugh when referring to major scandals, she flatly refused to do so. She confessed to Jada Pinkett Smith in her 2020 Red Table interview, I don't want pity. I don't deserve pity. I just want a second chance to be like, I recognize I messed up.